Hi guys, welcome back. I'm here to show you my design team project for Calico Collage for the month of March. This was a collaborated kit that she did with Linda Israel. It's called Outrageous Orange. As you can see, it's very orange. I happened to find one of my Reader's Digest covers that I had gutted. I have a whole stack of them and one of them happened to be this orange cover. It worked out really, really gorgeous for this kit. This is an exclusive kit and I will leave it in the description below where you can find it. It had a lot of elements to it and I didn't even use it all. Um, there's just so much in it. it, lots of goodies in it. This was from the kit as well. It just went really cute there. There's my, my stitching. So I've just reinforced the spine, but the book is very much intact. Other than that the pages were gutted out, I did manage to salvage all of the, the end papers the front and back pages so these are all original and they're all orange and it went so perfect with the kit you guys you, you just have no idea I've added some scrapbook paper that I had and it's got a bit of a glitter there and I've just stitched some little pockets in the front and the back there's some little pieces from the kit and I've just tucked those in there and I've just kind of um, mimicked what the pages were kind of glued down from before so I've just kind of done that to cover up where, you know, when you're, when you're pulling, gutting a book, where it pulls apart there. So this just, you know, really blended really well for, just made the flow of the pages go really well. So this little piece here is from the kit. And I've backed, some of the stuff is backed with coffee paper. Anyway, right here is one of the, one of the pages from the kit. I've backed a lot of them with my favorite grid. This one's green. And I've done some little stitching of tabs. There's a little like cream paper. Because I had to cut this down, I didn't waste any any bits. There's a lot of smaller pieces in here. Because the pages are are bigger than this book, so I didn't want to waste anything because it was so pretty. This one here, this is my favorite page. I love that butterfly. And then of course I've used an orange grid as well as the green. There's a little collage, just a little piece from the kit and I've just added it to this shipping tag that I happen to have. Some of the pages of the planner pages that I also got to work with with this kit um, had these little bits in it and I've just sort of cut some of them apart and added them as different elements throughout the journal. There's a tag that I made just with one of the the little tickets that you get and this pocket is also in the kit and these are so cute you get these little library cards and this little pocket here this is just like the one on the front and I've done a little stitching a little stitching around this tag added some fabric here is one of the planner pages you get a few different things like calendar pages but I just thought this was kind of nice if you had a a week that was sort of important and you were just kind of planning. There is lots of pages in here. I didn't even count them. This is a little flip. Now this piece here was from Norella's Garden Fresh. You can get these little labels in that kit. And I've just added it to one of the little tickets there. Made a little tuck spot. There's another one of the gorgeous pages. I've used my little stamp, or my punch, Stampin' Up punch, to make some interest there. And I used some botanical book pages that had a lot of orange flowers in it. They went really perfect with this kit. In the kit you also get like lots of little banners and stuff, and I like to use them as washi tape accents on pages. And I like to make my little vellum pockets. These are pieces from the kit as well. So as you can see, orange, it's a lot of orange, but you know what? It has lots of like the black accents and the green and some yellow. Here is a, a page um, that I turned into an envelope and I've just stitched around it. That's a tuck spot on this side. And then of course, I'll flip it over. And I noticed a lot of other people were doing, making this into a little booklet, which is so fun. I had didn't have the opportunity to do that. I just stuck it in here as like a note card. The little booklet is such a really great idea. And this is some of my favorite washi there. Here's another little piece from the planner. I thought this little guy was pretty cute. 
Another library card. So lots of pages. It's one thing about these Reader's Digest. They have a nice thick spine. You can add a lot of paper to it. This is a gorgeous pocket here. I've just done a little stitching and backed it on the back of the book page. And this piece came in there. Here's one of the planner pages. Um, it gives you the opportunity to write, do date, dates as well. Little notes if you're planning anything. And I've added a little envelope in here. This is one of the pages from the kit. I've just cut it down, made a note, note card or note paper. This is just a scrap of um, gift wrap I had. Some music paper. Here's another little piece in one of the pages. I like adding little bits of paper here and there. This is uh, from the kit as well. Here's little bits that you get. Here's another, the other side of the envelope. This really cool card here with a word search. I love word searches. My favorite thing to do in the car when I'm traveling. Here's another um, really nice uh, note taking diary page. I just used some of my washi and this butterfly does come with the kit. It's nice to have little butterflies in the kits. And there is another one of the diary pages. So another special event you could be documenting. There's some grid paper and this little guy here, this pretty little bird is also in the kit. There's another one like it at the back. These line pages are so nice. I love line pages in my journals and it's nice when they're going the right way. And you also get like little squares of images there as well. Here's a little collage I made. I love that she used this grid paper here on the back of this image. Um, these are all little pieces from the kit. Now this is one of my stamps, but I just kind of made a little collage there. Here's a, another pretty image. The last signature. This has five signatures. So there's like lots of writing space. Here's another piece. Another. This is a piece from the kit and I've just used some of my washi tape. This is another pretty image. Oops. Here's another one of those pockets that I've stitched on the back of a book page. Added another little card here. This little bird. Get in there. Another piece that I've added some fabric to. So it's pretty chunky. Lots of all that. I had a lot of fun working with this kit. Um, thanks so much for watching and like I said to get this exclusive kit you'll find the link below and it will take you to where you can see all the goodies that actually come with it and the planner pages and thanks for watching guys take care